things that get oversight from these members, that is what gets done. Honorable Speaker, I seek to move. Who is seconding? Order. Who is seconding? Thank you very much, Honorable Speaker. As the way we work in terms of this parliament, our departmental committees do a lot, and I seek to request one of the departmental chairs, Honorable KJ, to second this motion. Order. Honorable Speaker, I thank you. And I want to take this very early opportunity as I second. Order, Honorable Members. Order, Honorable Kemei. Is out of order to pick it in the house. Go on, KJ. Thank you for the protection, Mr. Speaker. And I want to take this very early opportunity as I second to congratulate the very esteemed Budget and Appropriations Committee for burning the midnight oil and being able to deliver this budget policy statement report on time. Honorable Speaker, I shall also take the opportunity to congratulate the very able chairperson of the committee, the honorable member for Kiharo constituency, the honorable Dende Nyoro. Mr. Speaker, as committees were going through the process of budget policy statement, they were very... They were, Mr. Speaker? Order, honorable members, order, DK. You can wait and congratulate your colleague out there in the, in the garden. Don't disrupt the business of the house. Go on, KJ. Honorable Speaker, we were able to make very serious observations as we were going through the process of the budget policy statement. And one key issue that we noted, Mr. Speaker, is the fact that even if on paper we agreed that we are working on a zero-based budget regime, we noted that we still have a situation where we are budgeting using traditional and historical allocations, Mr. Speaker, to an extent that there are sectors that end up suffering because traditionally they have not been very big sectors at the expense of the sectors that have always been dominant sectors, the very infrastructure-heavy, capital-intensive sectors like roads, uh, education, health, and, and all these other big sectors. But Mr. Speaker, the big take-home for this BPS is the fact that this House has finally found its footing in the process of budget making, that this House is taking the very serious business of budgeting back to where it belongs, which is the floor of this House. Mr. Speaker, over the years, there have been people who have attempted to, to overtake or usurp the responsibility of budgeting to themselves. And the culprits, Mr. Speaker, are known. The very uh, infamous uh, Treasury Mandarins have been known to uh, interrupt the budgeting process. But this year, Mr. Speaker, with the process that we have undertaken, we are truly taking our place as the budgeting house. Mr. Speaker, I'd finally like to add this, uh, to this point, that with a 4.1 trillion Kenya shilling budget, that we are funding to the tune of 2.9 trillion from the re regular revenue, it means then that we are a country that is serious on living within its means. We are not here as parliament trying to budget uh, in the way that we have seen even some countries trying to budget, where they overproject on the revenue, revenues that are not achievable, and they end up underscoring on the performance targets on the budget. So, Mr. Speaker, because the excitement is high, these members have seen the, the money they are putting for their electricity, for their schools, for the women and the youth in their constituencies. Mr. Speaker, I will not take any more time to dilute the excitement other than to congratulate the very able member of parliament from Keharo, the Honorable Samson Dende Nyoro, and his very hard-working committee of the Budget and Appropriation Committee. And Mr. Speaker, I second. Order. Order, Honorable Sirma. Take the nearest seat. Honorable members, I now propose the question, which is that this House adopts the report of the Budget and Appropriations Committee on the Budget Policy Statement BPS 
for the financial year 2024-2025 and a compendium of departmental committee reports on the 2024 BPS laid on the table of the House on Tuesday, 5th March 2024 and pursuant the provision of section 25-7 of the Public Finance Management Act 2012 and standing order 2329 and 10, they approves the budget policy statement BPS for the financial year 2024-25. B makes the following financial resolutions with respect to the BPS. One, that the national government budget ceiling be approved at Kenya shillings two trillion five hundred and sixty four billion five hundred and sixty three million one hundred thousand of which one executive two trillion four hundred and eight eight billion six fifty million three hundred thousand of which office of the auditor general Eight billion five ninety nine million five hundred thousand Parliament forty three billion six twenty three million million Judiciary twenty three billion six ninety million three hundred thousand two resolve that the allocation to county government equitable share be approved at 391 billion 117 million three resolves that consistent with the latest audited and approved revenues for the financial year 2020-2021 amounting to Kenya shillings 1 trillion 570 billion 562 million 945,014 shillings. The allocation to the equitable fund be set at Kenya shillings 7 billion 852 million 814,725. Four approves that the arrears to the equalization fund be set at Kenya shillings 3 billion 547 million 185,275 5 approves that the allocation for the count the additional allocations be approved at Kenya shillings 48 billion 196 million 590,924 as by the third schedule which shall form the basis for the current government additional allocations bill 2024. Six resolves that consistent with approved borrowing strategy in the medium term debt management strategy the projected physical deficit be set at Kenya shillings 703 billion 870 million that is 3.9 percent of GDP being the difference between the total revenues and grants and total expenditure and net lending C that the first and second schedules form the basis for the ceilings for the financial year 2024-2025 budget estimates D that once approved by the House, this recommendation shall form the basis for financial year 2024-25 budget estimates. E, orders that the first schedule to the order paper forms the basis for the ceilings for the financial year 2024-25 budget estimates. And F, makes the policy resolutions contained in the second schedule to the order paper non-financial recommendations relating to the budget policy statement for the financial year 2024-25. Joseph McClapp. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. I have a reason 
to smile and say the report of the PPS actually meets the expectations of Kenyans. $1.5 billion meant for rural electrification, divided by 290 constituents. Being a student of double mathematics, that takes every constituency on equal terms at 50 million per constituency. Mr. Speaker, if this could, will continue for the next four, three years, Mr. Speaker, it will change the, 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 the percentage of power distribution in our country, Mr. Speaker. Yes, Mr. Speaker, it is only necessary that the 